All right, everyone, how about a little singles read? A little Stee Harmony here. Number, God, what is this? Number 13 or something? I have no idea. I'll figure it out later. This here is outside the soulmate cycle. I am outside of it. This has nothing to do with your divine masculine. It's a very specific reading. I can tell already from the pre-shuffle. You're going to have to have some sort of employment for this, uh, maybe. Or something to do with your work. Could be someone you meet through work. It doesn't have to be someone you work with. But it has something to do with Eight Pentacles here. This girl's at work on that card. So it's something through your work. Maybe you meet a client or something. I don't know. It could be anything. It's, but it's linked to work in some way. These uh, Steve Harmony singles reads are always very specific. Because I'm flying outside the soulmate cycle. Inside the soulmate cycle. When I pull on the soulmate cycle. You're all dealing with a similar person, a similar situation. You're all part of the same cycle. Just, you know, different astrological slices of the pie, if you will. This here, you're all your own little solar system. So keep that in mind. If this one doesn't resonate with you, if it's like, no, nah, you know, it might in the future. It could be future influence as well. But there's a whole playlist of these. So check them out. You know, one, one person's solid gold reading is another person's. Nope, that's not for me. Okay, it's the way it's going to work with these singles reads. Well, right here, it's a general reading, as I said. Uh, very specific, may or may not resonate with you, but you'll know if it does. You know, you really will. All right, you feel that in your soul. It's timeless, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. My pre-shuffle, I asked the universe give me the outside the soulmate cycles for somebody. It could just be one of you. I don't know. I don't know. Um, something to do with your work, all right? Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, all right? Right here. Uh, eight of Cups. Someone who you might not be able to go out with unless you quit the job. It could be a boss or it could be a client in that respect. This is very interesting. If nothing else, this is a hell of a soap opera. It's going to be one of those readings. Um, it might be somebody that you're inclined to run away from. Book it for the hills, all right? Keep it very professional, mm -hmm. kind of a thing like that. Run away from emotionally, I mean. Uh, but don't. Um, it is. A, I would give it a second thought before you do that. I would consider if you had to leave the job because they're a client or because you work with them and they're your boss or, or whatever it is. I would give it some thought before you do because this is someone who can cure the pain, the Kurt Cobain, make Kurt feel better. And uh, put you on a whole new path, the fool. This is quite a uh, little soap opera here. These Steve Harmony readings always are. I'm not going to split the energies this time. This is just one message. It's just one reading. And it might be for just one person. But I'm okay with that. I am. I'm all right with it. Let's see what we got here. But, you know, this could be, keep in mind, this could be future influence for you. You might want to pay attention just in case it happens six months, a year from now. I don't know. You don't know what's around the next corner. That's, that's one of the great adventures of life. That's, one of the ma that's where the magic lives. You don't know what's around the next corner. All right, let's see what we got. You don't know what's going to happen next. All right, shuffle in the deck here. Tell me about this pre-shuffle. What's going on with this situation here? Okay, I got my reading. Let's pull some cards. Emperor. Six. It could be a boss. It could be a boss. You want to bang your boss? Is that what it is? It could be a future boss. Maybe somebody somewhere you don't work yet. If you're someone who flips jobs a lot, or you change divisions and you have a new supervisor within your company, you don't know what's coming up for you, but the energy does. All right. So it's someone who pays you. The Six of Pentacles and the Emperor. It's someone who is, could even be the person who signs the fucking check. Okay? But generally, this means it's, it's someone in charge of you. All right? Let's keep that in mind. And Jerry, someone handsy. No. Uh, they, <laughs> they might make a pass at you. You might, you might actually bang this person. I tell you what, the chariot here, this is determination. The emperor drives the chariot. This is them coming toward you. They're going to make a play for you. You're not going to make a play for them. And again, I want to reiterate, this could be future influence. All right? But for someone, this is right now. All right? So they're, they're probably going to make a play for you. They're going to ride the chariot right over you. 
right? And it's probably someone in charge of you or could just be someone you work with. But generally, when I see the emperor and the six of pentacles together, that, that's the person that signs the checks or at least a supervisor or something along those lines. The uh, pre-shuffle showed something inappropriate. Like you'd have to walk away from something to be with this person, sort of a thing. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Uh, this person, whoever this is, whether it's a future influence or, or a boss right now or what, or some work flirt kind of thing, whatever it is, um, they, they do a lot of thinking about you. And again, it's, it's hands are tied. This person's hands off. Look, she's hands right there. It's bookending the emperor. You can't have this person. And without, again, as the pre-shuffle showed us, well, it's gone now, but with it, well, like the pre-shuffle showed us, you'd have to walk away to have this person. But they're going to they're gonna make a play anyway. You might end up banging them anyway, secretly for a while. Well, that's risky. Be careful about that. But especially if they are the one who signs your checks, you know, make sure, whatever. However, the pre-shuffle did say you might be inclined to not leave the job or whatever you have to do to be with this person because there's something that, that the hands are tied right something about that uh the uh, pre-shuffle would indicate that uh you might want to second guess that you might want to think about that because this is someone who puts you on a new path new plane the hell they might even have more money than you if they're higher up you never know i don't know either way it's a whole new life for you and it kind of cures the pain of the three of swords whatever that is within you which is probably something related to your twin flame deep soul connection let's clarify let's go i'll clarify each card one by one and we'll see what we get here again i know it's a very specific reason uh reading reason reading but you don't know where you're going to be working in the future just because this ain't happening at your job now doesn't mean right Christ, my wife changes jobs more times than you change diapers on a baby, for God's sake. But then again, in her field, they tend to move people around from project to project. She'd get a new boss about once every six months or so. she got on a project here, on a project there, on a project there, that kind of thing. You don't know. You don't know at all. All right? So... It, it, it's, I'm, pulling, I'm pulling from nice, broad-spectrum, raw energy here. This is no astrology with this or anything like that. This is my crystal ball right here. Okay? So keep that in mind. But for some of you, a few of you, this is happening right now, and you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, you might bang them anyway. You might already have. A few of you already did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Why is the emperor here? I hope you did it right in the office, too. Where, where is the emperor? Why is he here? Tell me about this emperor. What's going on here? Oh, oh bottom of the deck. Crossing the emperor. Yeah, it's the, it's the fool from the pre-shuffle. Yeah, this, this is a life-changing person for you. You got to think about it. This is the Hierophant. This could be long-term. This could be long-term. Ah, oh, 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 oh. There's the three swords. I'm pulling three cards. It's the you know this is one of the influences. The main card. These are re these are repeats from the pre-shuffle. This emperor. I ask, tell me about the emperor. I get crossing the fool. They might be. They're gonna put you on a new plane. And here's the hierophant. This is why I said you might want to second guess it. This is a very spiritual connection. I believe it's one that cures the pain of Kurt Cobain and pain a little bit. I believe it is. Yeah. Uh, Knight of Swords. Yeah. Again, you might be inclined to, you know, have some kind of secret relationship with this person, in and out kind of thing, you know, literally or figuratively. Um, yeah, I see, I see, I get the repeats here. I get the repeats. Uh, crossing the uh, Hierophant this time is the Eight of Swords, or the Eight of Cups. Again, Second guess that it might be worth walking away from whatever this job is. You know, sometimes it can just be a client. You're not supposed to date clients, kind of a thing like that. I don't know. She walking toward the sun. That's a lot of happiness. Or as some would say, she's walking toward the nine of cups. It's the eight of cups. Walking away from eight broken ones toward nine really good ones. All right. So the so the pre shuffle. So you know when this happens, I did a lot of shuffle in there. And, when the, and I shuffled for this, too. And nothing from the pre-shuffle came back. When the pre-shuffle comes back, it means I got it right. I read the energy right. Because, you know, again, it is 
it's something to do with work, it's a boss, someone who might be the one who signs your checks, a supervisor, or it could be a client, which would apply in the same manner. They're going to make a play for you because the emperor drives the chariot. They're going to make a play for you, but your hands are tied a little bit. You're, you're the one who's kind of in jeopardy here a little bit, okay, because of that. But the universe says this is someone that, that, that could be really good for you. A whole new life, a whole new world. Go ahead and take some chances in life, you know. Um, tell me about the chariot. I don't care about the Six of Pentacles. I know what that's there for. It's there to accent the emperor. It's crossing the emperor, basically. Um, basically, the way these cards would look, you know, because they're laid out like this. I'll show you how my reading works. That's crossing that in that particular case, okay? Because these two kind of came out together. Which means, you know, again, the Eight of Swords is crossing the, the past that they would make at you. There's always different layers that I read things. I can read the bookends, which I do, which told me the same thing as th that crossing that. Except it, this just told me that they're the one who makes the play. You know, they're the one who makes the move kind of a thing. Um, so there's always a lot of layers to things. Why is the chariot here? Tell me about the chariot. Energy reading is always about layers. It's always about peeling back the layers. 100% of the time. Why is the chariot here? I do it in person when I read people. If I read someone's energy, I don't have cards with me. I just talk out loud. I ask the universe questions. Well, what the hell is that about? People look at me like I'm crazy, like I got some kind of you know, schizophrenia going on or something like that. No, you know, I just pretend I'm on the phone. Wear one of them snaggle tooths in my ear or Bluetooth or whatever it's called. All right, here we go. The chariot. All right, why is it here? Huh. Okay. Let me, let me, I know what the crossing card of the chariot is. I already looked. It's at the bottom. But let me pull these. Death. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to get fired. <laughs> you're going to be out. Five Pentacles. That's destitution. Yeah, uh, it, it puts you in a real bind when this person makes play for you. It puts you in a bit of a look at you. Look at you. Oh, my God. All right. Even if you're not a random white girl, look at you. Okay. Uh, it puts you in a real bind. You're going to have to you're, it, it, you're either going to have to leave the job or leave the division uh, of the job or something. Otherwise, you know, again, it's something that causes the reason this strife is here when this person makes a play, or God forbid, well, not God forbid, but, well, if you two bang in the office, let's say, in the little break room or something, right, leaning up against the, I don't know, microwave or whatever, uh, you know, you realize you're, you're, it's sort of the don't shit where you eat principle, you know, you got to be careful, that's why you don't date people at work, it always causes fucking problems. Don't shit where you eat. Don't do it. Mm. Ace of Swords. It's an, Again, everything I'm already telling you, the don't shit where you eat is kind of an epiphany for you here. You know, it's sort of a, you know, but it also gives you an idea. Maybe I could. Because it's a card of reconciliation. Doesn't mean you know you banged this person before and you're reconciling. Reconciliation is just, well, you know, we can't be together. And then... You go home, you do some thinking, and you go, well, this, you know, you mean more to me than this job. I can find another job, or I can ask for a transfer, or something like that, right? It, bang, basically, even if it's not a job, banging this person, whoever this is, and they're going to make a play for you, and again, they may come in in the future, all right? Banging this person puts your pentacles in jeopardy in some way, Okay? Very interesting. But I don't think you care. And I think that's what the universe is trying to say here. It's it's actually you. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. You might want to take a chance and walk away from the, the eight cups or the, you know, the job or whatever it is you need to walk away from because this is the real deal. It could be the real deal and it's the cure for Kurt Cobain in pain here, the three of swords. For those that are new and don't know why I say that, that's Kurt Cobain right there. Nirvana. If you don't know who Kurt Cobain is, fuck you. Okay, I'm just going to say it that way. Um, right here is the uh, Eight of Swords. Tell me about it. Oh, 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 crossing the Five of Pentacles. Destitution. It cost me my pentacles. Bang, and oh my God. Is the hangman. That's why I know you get a new perspective here. This is an epiphany. You're like, well, you know what? It might work. Think about it is all I'm saying. 
before you blow it off, before you pick pentacles, don't be your DM. Don't turn into the Burger King. Don't pick pentacles over love. Don't ever fucking do that. And don't pick love for pentacles either. That's nonsense. That's not what love is, not money. All right? It isn't. Money, man. People put so much goddamn emphasis on it. It's just, you know, you can't, you can't replace deep love. You can replace money. You'll get more. It's all right. It's fine. It might take a little time to put it back, but so what? As long as you got love, you're all set. Your happiness comes in as long as you can eat. And believe me, this person here has got some money. Uh, whoever this is, they're okay. They'll, they'll, if, if they're in love with you and they're banging you, they'll take care of you a little bit. They'll throw you some coin. You'll be fine. Ain't no worries. Why, why is that? You can pay them back later if you're worried about codependence. Well, fine, I'll pay you back. You know, and just give them the money back. All right, eight, eight swords. It's no big deal. You could keep your, you gotta keep your independence in a relationship. Why is the eight swords here? Why are my random white girls all tied up? Oh my God! Oh my God! What do I do? Now there's, there's no choice here. There's no choice here. This is, this is deep love. This is something really good. This is nice. But it does put your pentacles in jeopardy. It could be a future influence again. You don't know where you're going to be working a year from now. Two years. You don't know. You don't know at all. Even if you work at home. It could be a client. You get to talking to them on the phone. You know, whatever it is. Or oh, online. Lots of people fall in love online. Right? They meet online. Let's, let's meet up. Oh my God, we got to meet. Boom. Commence to banging. Right there. Why is the Eight of Swords here? You already got to know each other online. It was great. You're all set. Just walk right into it. All right, eight swords. But send them a naked picture first. You know, you don't want any surprises. Make sure you get one from them first, too. You don't want any surprises. All right, you know. All right, here we go. Eight of swords. Eight of swords. Check the goods first. Oh, <laughs> Why is the eight of swords? I see the bottom card. I'm not going to show it to you because it's kind of dirty. I'm not going to show it to you. All right. I will show it to you in a minute. It's crossing the next card out. This is the ace of wands. You're worried because you know this is a new beginning. This you, you would have to leave this job. You would have to have a whole new beginning. But this person in and of themselves is a passionate new beginning for you. And no, just because the emperor is here, this is not your twin flame deep soul. This is something else. All right? You ain't been paying attention if you think it is. I'm not flying in that cycle right now. It's got nothing to do with that person. All right? And I'm not seeing that they're a soulmate. But you form new soul connections all the time. They don't have to be a soulmate. This is wonderful. Actually, if they're not, and there's this much attraction here, and the universe is bringing it up as spiritual, the Hierophant would indicate to, to, to me that you're forming a new soul connection with this person. It's a very spiritual connection. That's a beautiful relationship right there. That's nice. Ace of Wands. What's the next card out? The star. Oh, my fucking God. Who is sent? Uh, this person is the cure for. I'm gonna. Uh, you'll know why I tell you this in a second. This person is the cure for Kurt Cobain and pain. Okay, and I know a lot of that Kurt Cobain and pain. I know a lot of you divine feminines are in pain because of you know uh, another emperor, shall we say, the Burger King version. This ain't the Burger King version. This is very balanced. It came out with the Six of Pentacles. So in general, the universe is telling me a couple of things. It's telling me this person's responsible for your pentacles on some level. And it's a balanced emperor. But I know it's a balanced emperor anyway just from looking at it. Right? And why is that important? Well, I'll show you the crossing card before I pull the last card. Crossing the star is you. The divine feminine. The queen of tits. The best tits in the tarot. You know... The star is a wish card. This person, in a way, is someone you manifested in. Actually, not in a way. You did. You manifested this somehow. This could be a new person that shows up at your work in six months. They're a little bit above you. Maybe they're a, a, a supervisor. Or if not, they're just someone you work with in the same group. Or, or you have a company policy, as most do, that you're not supposed to date employees. You know, employees aren't supposed to date each other. Companies do that for a reason because it's a fucking mess. Because then the love relationship comes into the job and there's drama and all kinds. It, it ends up being, it, somebody always ends up quitting. 
So, so companies figure we'll just make a rule where you can't date, and if you do, we'll just fire you anyway because one is just going to end up quitting. Then they'd make you decide which one's going to quit, basically. So, it's just the way it is. So, this is something you're. This is someone you're manifesting in, and that's why it's so beautiful. But it does. As with every manifestation, there's always a catch sometimes. It's hard to get them 100% perfect, isn't it? You know, this does affect your pentacles somehow. And I read that all right from the pre-shuffle, and this, this, this reading is just backing it up. What's the last card out here on this random white girl in pain here, in, in, in trauma? What do I do? Well, another random white girl. Well, she's not really white. She's kind of Hawaiian with dyed hair. I don't know. Anyway, it, it's, it's a, a three of wands. Yeah, you manifest it in. This is your chance. This is your new world. This is your new life. This is what the, the, the star with the three of wands sitting on top of it with the ace of wands over here. This is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do, queen of tits. Huh? You're going to keep the tits locked up behind a shirt? Three layers of shirts and a, and a thick padded bra? No, you're not going to do that. No, let them, let them puppies out. Let them out. Give them some air. I'm telling you right now, this is a damn fine connection. If you And you'll know this connection when you feel it, when it crosses your path, because you'll have a decision to make. And you'll remember what I said. You'll watch this reading right now, and you'll remember what I... Or somebody will find it right when this is happening. But it, either way, you'll remember what I said. As you're making this decision, remember this. Don't fucking pick pentacles over love. Don't ever fucking do that. That's nonsense. Pentacles, nonsense. It's easy. Start selling. You're worried about money. You want to get a quick couple of grand, sell some shit from your garage, man. Go open an eBay thing and sell some shit. Everybody got junk in their house. You probably got three or four grand worth of junk just laying around, for God's sake. There's whole TV shows devoted to teaching people how to do that. Money, you can pull money out of your ass any, any old day of the week, you know. You can't pull love, real love out of your ass. And this person's all set on money anyway. But there's more to this than that. I'm going to pull three cards here. I'm going to pull from another deck. Give me three cards overall. Add all this up for me. Tell me about this connection. Tell me about this, uh, the, the feelings in this connection. Alright? I'll do that for you. Give me three cards and a bottom card. The feelings in this connection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is nice. It's very specific. But I don't think so. Not not on a on a big level. I think this 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 is if you're watching this video and you think, well, this could happen in the future, I do get fired a lot. Uh, well, you know, or get moved around at your company a lot, or you get clients that come in, or there's somebody you're talking to online who you you know you're starting to like, but you know, it's tied to your pinnacle, you know, all that kind of stuff. You don't know what's coming down the road. It's either happening now or it'll happen in the future. I think this is much more broad spectrum than I'm giving it credit for. This is a this is a pretty pretty cool scenario, and it's on par with the energies of 2022. You know, it really is. Watch my Q1 reading for 2022. You'll get the idea. Uh, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Tell me about the uh, feelings in this connection here. What's 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 the story, universe? Yeah, this card wanted to come by. It came by in the shuffle about four times, and it ended up as my affecting energy. It's the nine swords. Stay out of your fucking head. I'm going to tell you the same thing I always tell you. Stay out of your fucking head. It's a no-brainer here. Okay? Ain't no job worth blowing off something that's got hierophant energy around it. Ain't no job worth that. Trust me. Nope. 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 It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning on many levels for both of you because the Emperor could be could have some Kurt Cobain pain too. There's two slashes in the heart. It's not in the energy that this reading's about you, but it's possible. Either way, you've got an Ace of Wands again. In the middle, this is very interesting. I got the Page of Wands. That's a very good card to have there. Okay, and the last card is the Sun. I just asked about this connection with this person. Okay, it, and I swear to God, if, if, if this happens to you in the future and you come out to my Twitter feed or something and, and you say, I pick pentacles, I will fucking come find you and smack you with the back of the head, male or female. If you're female, I'll do it with a pillow, I promise. It won't hurt, but either way, it, it, this is a beautiful connection. This is very nice. This is, I can see why it can go long term. Stay the fuck out of your head. 
approach it from a child's perspective curiosity it's the it's the page of wands it's beautiful energy it's it's uh, it's my party girl in the light seer deck it's very similar to the fool which was crossing the emperor okay it's very similar energy except the the page of wands is it has a bit more passion there's passion here there's newness to it and and that newness leads to a passionate new beginning it's all here these two cards ring together beautifully and right here there's happiness there's openness but mainly there's happiness there's the happiest card in the deck it's the sun okay it's beautiful energy this is beautiful energy the only thing fucking it up is nine swords crossing the page of, of wands and that's your inclination for some of you to overthink it and keep the queen of tits locked up right Three layers of shirts. And it applies if you're a guy too. You can have them chicken tits. It's fine. Eat too much chicken. You look like Dolly Parton. But anyway. <sighs> mm. This is nice. I like this. Keep your eyes open for it. You, Some of you might already know who this is. Okay. You might have already banged them in the break room. I don't know. I don't know. Either way. That's what I got for you. Stay the fuck out of your head. Alright. I know. And right here. I, I see you getting the epiphany anyway. I see you knowing what to do. So I'm not worried about it. But the lesson here, definitely, it, it's a no-brainer. Don't, don't pick pentacles over, you know, over something like this. This is a brand new start, brand new beginning. Approach it with curiosity. And just flow with the energy. And it leads to the sun. I mean, it's really nice. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful to you. Hope you're fucking paying attention. I'm a real deal energy reader. I'm not fucking around here. All right? I don't make this shit up. The pre-shuffle was verified by the reading. When that happens, it's on. I'm right in the energy here. So pay attention. So, and, and even, you got so many cards that say a whole new world. This one here too. She's looking out on new horizons is one of the meanings of the card. It's your manifestation. You manifested this. You probably manifested it as a replacement to the Three of Swords. You probably didn't count on it affecting your pentacles. But it's right there. You know? So, And it could be future influence, I want to remind you. I uh, hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, everybody who watches. All right. Good luck, everyone. That's nice. That's nice.